Yeah, thanks everybody for coming. Great, uh, great to start off another hockey season. Really excited to get the season underway. Real special beginning to this season with uh, ice on ice ceremony for the dedication of the Mike Kemp uh, ice, which is really a privilege for us to be there. Not lots of alumni coming in for it, and really excited to start our season off with with that against the University of Wisconsin. And so we're excited for the year. We'll open up questions for Nolan. It's here. <laughs> Nolan, just talk about uh, the turnover on the uh, roster this season and so many new faces on the squad. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's kind of the world we live in today with the, the transfer portal. I'm sure it's, I mean, it's different for the players. I'm sure it's different for the coaches for sure. But, uh, I mean, it's it's also on the same a really cool. I mean, it gives us opportunity to bring in guys, um, aside from freshmen, that we wouldn't normally see, guys have, who have a lot of college hockey experience and not just great players but great people as well that can contribute to I mean the Omaha culture. So you've been here for a while and now you're you're wearing the C. First of all, what does that mean to you to be asked to captain this program? But secondly, what did you learn from prior C's before you that you could apply to your leadership position now? Um, yeah, I've been asked the question before, I'll probably say the same thing. It's just the honors and honor is the only word I can think of. There's been a lot of great leaders. I mean, we had Nolan Sullivan in the last few years. He's a one-of-a-kind person. I've learned a lot from him. And just aside from that, leaders in my own life, from family to friends that I've kind of taken lessons with along the way. Hopefully, I can bring those uh, out in my own leadership. But I think the biggest thing from past leaders for me is just uh, the amount you have to dedicate yourself and just you're representing a lot more than yourself especially in this situation it's the team it's the university it's the entire Omaha community that's backing us so no well, congratulations and, and talk about the pressure the pressures are the feelings you have the emotions there's just something about that leadership having that letter uh, sewn on the sweater in this sport isn't it it's a, an ultimate feeling but uh, just talk about the emotions especially in this other sports and captains but uh, this one just seems like uh, it's at an even higher level, isn't it? Yeah, I, I had a junior coach who always said to me, pressure is a privilege. Um, not a lot of people get to be in this situation, so I think that's something I take very, very seriously. And I mean, talk about pressure just individually, but ultimately on the team, I, even though I'm wearing the C at the end of the day, it's there's a lot of great leaders on this team, and it, it doesn't take just me pulling on that rope to get the guys going in the right direction. It's ultimately everyone. Can you give us an, some insight into these new faces that we have? You know, I think about like uh, superlatives, like who has the Vincent Victor Mancini, you know, style award, or you know that sort of thing. Who, what should we be looking for in these new guys? Uh, well, it's it's a little different when it comes to games, so you'll have to ask that question again down the road. But I mean, in terms of they're just great people in general. That's the thing I've noticed. The group has really come together fast, which is really cool to see. And then. In terms of players, I think we have a good combination of age, skill, and just overall grit. So, but but no comment on who's going to be best dressed. Yeah, I haven't seen. Well, the suits will be broken out on Saturday, okay. so that's why right. I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, it that won't one, be me. That so. one's coming later. Okay. Nolan, the success the team had last year is that something you think about or look at, or is that kind of in the rearview mirror now and new season? I think it's important to take or to learn lessons from the past. Um, I don't think you want to get stuck on past successes. I think otherwise you'll you stay pretty stagnant. So I think for the group this year, they're returning guys and even the new guys here. It's important for us to, I mean, know where we have been, but I mean, set new goals for ourselves. And especially in the last few years, we've gotten to um, expectations have I think grown higher and higher. And I mean, we just plan on pushing ourselves to those. How do you feel about eight of nine league teams in the ratings in the top 20? It's cool, yeah. It's I mean, it's the conference we play in. It's been that way for a lot of years, and it makes, I mean, it, you can't be sleeping at the wheel when it comes to any weekend. So, I mean, it's it's uh, cool for our group to be able to go into, into these games knowing that something's on the line and there's a very good team across the ice from us. No one that ex exhibition game, but still, this is Omaha of the NCHC. Your team and uh, great pride on the line in a, in a great league and uh, great pride on the line, obviously, with Wisconsin and the Big Ten. So uh, an interesting matchup this Saturday, uh, isn't it? Talk about uh, some emotions uh, going into this on the pride. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, the exhibition's always good for us to kind of get our feet under us going into, into games Las Vegas next weekend. But So I think it'll be just kind of, I mean, see what kind of team we are, which might take more than one game to develop ultimately. But I think it's just a good way for some of these new guys, the freshmen, the transfers, and even returning guys, just to kind of see how we operate as a team when we are in actual games. Thanks, Noel. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Noel. Alrighty. Open up to questions for Coach. Nolan mentioned that the, the chemistry of the team had developed maybe a little faster than, than he was anticipating. How would you rate the growth of the team with so many new faces coming into this weekend? Yeah, I think there's a good Nick, Nick Saban quote, you know, high achievers like high achievers and mediocre people like mediocre people. And, and so when you put a group of high character individuals together, maybe they haven't had a lot of time together in the past, um, they bond very quickly. I think you're seeing that with our group here. Very, very good, hardworking individuals want to be coached, want to get better. And you get an environment like this where you put all those guys together, it's, it's fun to watch and, and fun to be part of. So really impressed with the way the group is working and growing. Um, obviously, lots of work ahead of ourselves, um, but it's great to see that connection being formed uh, early on. Nolan alluded to, uh, you know, the, the pressure of the exhibition coming up. Obviously, you're in the meat grinder of the NCHD. What do you hope to get out of this weekend, the icebreaker tournament that's going to help prepare you for the, the rigors of the NCHD play later on? Yeah, I mean, we'll be potentially playing a lot of ranked teams right off the right out of the bat here with Wisconsin coming in obviously ranked high as well so I, I like it I, I would rather have some failures early on uh, especially in the exhibition game to, to be tested there um, it, it gives you some really immediate feedback um, for your players which I think is a good thing sometimes early on when you're, when you're developing and learning to, to get that immediate feedback from the game so I think bringing a point like a Wisconsin in here for an exhibition game is going to do that uh, at an accelerated rate, uh, maybe compared to playing a, um, another team that doesn't have quite the talent or experience that a Wisconsin team would have. So I think that's going to serve us well and obviously prepare us as well for Vegas where it, it counts for real and, and we'll face some really good teams there as well. So it should be a great start to the season. Coach, not just Wisconsin coming in, but the return of Mike Hastings. So just talk about Hastings coming back and um, just kind of your relationship with Mike. Yeah, yeah, I think it's great. I, I, when we ch thought about that, especially with the uh, uh, Coach Kim Ice dedication happening, I thought how soon it would be if we could get two teams that he spent 10 plus years, you know, I think he was 14 years in in, uh, in Wisconsin and obviously well over 20 here for, for Omaha. So it's kind of nice to have both those teams playing on the same night. He's getting ice dedicated where he spent so much of his college career there. So I think that's great. and. And obviously, knowing Coach Hastings there and getting them to uh, to come here, and then we're going to end up returning back to them as well here, uh, which will be pretty cool to to play a Big Ten opponent that people are really familiar with, and and obviously he's familiar with the city. It has to be, especially we've talked about it in the past, but uh, yeah, he he coached you here, and uh, Kemper uh, has has been part of your life in, in such a good way to talk about about that and and to reach. Uh, this point, another huge, huge honor for him. It just has to make you and your teammates and the other alums who played for Kemper uh, really feel, feel great. Oh, absolutely. He started the program. He's the reason I'm in Omaha, both as a player and as a coach. And uh, I owe a lot of my uh, current life to him. And so it's uh, really awesome to see him get honored and um, just really get that recognition of just all the hard work um, that he goes through and has went through. And, now sitting in that seat too as a head coach, you, you have more empathy and respect for somebody that's gone through it. As a player, sometimes I don't think you, you take the time to realize what the coaches deal with, but having lived it now, you can have a greater respect for him as an individual and a person, and, and just how he conducts himself and cares about everybody that he comes in contact with. It's really nice to see him honored this way. You've gotten some amazing support this year from fans, the Mankey Captain Scholarship and the David and Jane Offit donation with Wear Black Give Back coming up next week. Can you talk a little bit about how that fan support is important, especially with that opportunity to unlock uh, an extra $25,000 in, in challenge money next week? Well, it just, it's so important, especially for the ever-changing landscape of the NCAA and just how much you have to keep up with things and provide that support for your student-athletes, whether it's nutrition or health and wellness. And 
I really think we're at the cutting edge with our department of all the things we're able to do for our athletes, whether it's nutrition, mental health, uh, recovery, performance driven stuff. And, and that obviously stuff costs money. So just uh, the support we get here from our community, from our fans, from our donors, it's tremendous. And it allows us to kind of find those 1% things that we can continue to do to, to strive to be our best. Coach, uh, just, just a quick question on uh, the, this weekend. Obviously, as we were asking Nolan about the, the great pride uh, between two powerhouse conferences and uh, the big names, but it also is an exhibition. How, how do you approach it? Because you, you want to see some things happen out there. Maybe check out different goaltending and, and line combinations. But how, how do you approach the game? You want to win the exhibition sure, yeah. in college hockey or any, any sport. but. How do you, you also got some things you want to get done uh, as far as seeing some tactics, strategy, that sort of thing, right? Yeah, first and foremost, you want to have a plan in place on how we're going to approach the game and whether we stick to that when it gets competitive, who, uh, who knows, but, uh, but definitely you want, to, you want to make sure you're getting guys ice time to play and, and get guys some, some opportunities to experience different experiences and situations. So definitely want to get everybody into the game and make sure you know we get a couple of goalies playing uh, during the exhibition, get that experience. and. That's one thing I wish we would have in college hockey is more exhibition games. I think the student athletes in, in most of our leagues they play at uh, have, you know, get a chance to make some failures and make some mistakes and learn and grow and get some feedback. And, and here we go from one exhibition game to immediate important games. So as a coach, it's tough because you'd like to get some more guys, some playing experience, um, but it's so cutthroat of, uh, of the immediate games counting, it's tricky. But we'll do the best we can to, to get everybody some quality experience here on, on Saturday night. Coach Nolan, uh, talking about game experience a little bit, he kind of touched on the changing landscape with the transfer portal. You bring in guys that have some more, uh, you know, on ice experience. Mm -hmm. Has that been different for you as a coach? You know, with the changing landscape with the transfer portal in college. Yeah, I think you have to embrace change. I think you have to lean into it a little bit and, and have a plan and think about what you want to be as a program and how you want to handle those situations. And we've had some really good success with some older players um, coming to our program. They're a little bit more mature. They're maybe just not taking the, the bright shiny object in front of them and looking, really looking at what's going to help them as hockey players, as people. And uh, we'd be able to have some good results too, helping those guys that maybe didn't have the quite the, uh, the impact that other programs come here and really do well. So I think it's going to be another situation like that this year where I'm really excited about some of our guys that we've added to the portal and then some really quality incoming freshmen as well uh, with some good returners too. So it's going to be a nice mix of, of new faces and returning faces to ultimately make the team that will be our team for this season. Coach, along those same lines, um, obviously, like half the team's brand new to the program. How do you sort of um, implement the culture that's already that you've already built here, with also letting those new guys kind of build that for themselves? Yeah, I think the most important thing is it's a new team, and as a coach, as much as just like Crenson talked about, you want to maybe rely on what's been in the past. Uh, you have to approach it as this is the one time this team will be together to make sure you're doing things step by step and from step one, and that's something that we really do just super clear early on what we're about and what we believe in and then have those returners help you know build that and influence that those new guys and and also get to know those new guys and make sure they have been put into the culture as well I, I do believe that cultures is an our thing it's not a my thing it's not a him th or a them thing it's an our thing and when you do that I think that uh, creates ownership with everybody coach I know it's still very early on but at this point what would how would you define a successful season I know obviously hasn't started yet, but what would make a successful season for you guys as a team? I think growth. I love the word growth to see when you're playing in such, I mean, eight teams ranked in the top 20 or eight, that doesn't help you sleep at night. And, uh, uh, but, but when you continue just focus on how are we growing, how are we improving, how are we helping the athletes get better, um, then you're kind of more process focused and process driven than just outcome based, which can be tricky in this sport. Um, but obviously, hey, we're, we want to win a championship. We want to compete for that. But just want to see that growth. Where are we going to start off with? You know, we'll see how that goes. But if we can get a little bit better every day and help these guys continue to improve, usually you're looking pretty good at the end of the season. I think growth. Um, kind of you talked about the new guys and stuff like that. So how have those returners now that maybe were role players last year now being thrusted into leadership and more impactful roles? How have those guys handled that new um, role on the team? Oh, great, and just starting with our captain, Nolan Krenzen, he's not a guy of many words or likes to take a lot of credit for himself, but the only thing he's got to do is be himself. Um, he's wearing that seat for a reason because of how he's conducted himself for the last four seasons on and off the ice, and uh, 
I think that's the most important thing for those returning guys. You just do what you've been doing all along, be yourself, and, and the most important thing is the day-to-day -day actions that you take, and, and then also helping influence some of those new guys and, and showing how we do things here and how uh, things are done is really important. And we're really fortunate to have a really solid group of returning guys to do just that. Awesome. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks, thanks everyone. Coach.